Sup guys, Money Man Twelve Twelve here, and today we're going to be talking about the best controller setup for when Smash Five comes out, Smash Ultimate. So let's just get straight into it. We have, I'll show off basically three variations of the controllers. So there is that out of the way and move that out of the way for now. So there is the Joy Cons. And all of their really setups, you can do this and this, but we're going to get into why this is bad. And we're not going to be doing what the controller, like, if you can program buttons in, because we don't know if you can do that yet. So I'm just going to be specifically working on controllers, just in general. The Pro Controller and all of its counterparts, meaning the different colors, and obviously the... Also, the third-party Power A Pro Controllers, because they are apparently very similar. And, and then... Oh, this thing's so old. The GameCube controller with the GameCube adapter. Or, if the Power A third-party slash official Nintendo Switch um, GameCube controller is good, then that, because you'll see... There'll be some things that would be better and or worse with it. So guys, let's get right into the video. And let's start just with taking these off. We'll talk about them later. Let's talk about the Joy-Cons. I mean, I've already done video on Joy-Cons versus Pro Controller, so I'm not going to go into super big detail on all the buttons like I did there. First of all, if you're going to play like this, it's okay if you're with friends. But if you're going to be playing in a tournament with this, if you're going to be playing with this, no way. First of all, there's no... I mean, some people don't use the C-Stick, but you, you sort of need a second stick anyway. Just because if you want the most optimal controller. And also, the thumb stick lengths are different. The, or the control stick lengths are different, as you can see on them. They're at different places. And also... If, like, you're a righty or a lefty, might mess you up to be holding it like that, because the button is there, depending on what stride you're on. So, I'm going to say that that is the worst way to play without a, you know, a Bluetooth adapter to, like, put on a really bad controller. But now we're going to be doing either Joy-Cons like this, or Joy-Cons in the Joy-Con grip, which I don't mind. I don't see why people hate it on it. It's not a bad controller, it's just... N there's way better options. So for this, I mean, I play Smash Bros. like that. So as you can see, I play Claw Grip for Smash so that I can have access to every button. I mean, these buttons actually might be helpful because you can actually reach them, so you can do Double Claw. I mean, it'd be really hard since I'm not used to double claw, but you could do double claw, so that, I, that is one option that might be good, so that you don't have taunts, and you can actually use more buttons. That might be a competitive advantage, which I would use, definitely, if it was actually, like, really good. Obviously, it has two sticks. I know this is very... Let me see if I can clean it off for a second. Sorry. There's, like, so much reflection, as you can see, because my Joy-Cons are not the cleanest. I mean, they get dirty with multiple people playing. But, yeah, it's standard. I mean, not bad, obviously. Got all your shoulder buttons. They're electronic. But it's a good controller option. So, we're just going to put that to the side. Now, Pro Controller. All its variants. I've already gone over Pro Controller in another video. It just feels, in my opinion, like, to double claw, you sort of have to have... Because I can't hold my Joy-Con like that. Like, that's how I'd be playing. You sort of have to have it in the grip. Which, I don't usually play with grip. With Joy-Con grips. No, wait, wrong way. Sorry, like that. Sorry, I don't think you can really hold a controller like that. You'd literally only be holding it with your pinky for me, considering how I do it. So yeah, that's not going to work. But for this, you don't need... Stay up. So with that, you don't need this. You can just hold it. 
I mean, you have fairly easy access to the D-pad. It's just the D-pad buttons, I think, might be a bit more optimal. I've already gone over the feel of all these buttons. Like, I like these better, but... These are just so good. Yeah, so I've already gone over this. This is basically like a standard controller. This is like basically the Wii U Pro controller. Same amount of buttons. Basically same layout besides stick being up there and or down here instead of up there. So, I mean, I guess doing claw grip might feel a bit better. I mean, I'll most likely be playing like this. Like that. So... It's going to be pretty standard for a controller, but then we're going to get into the GameCube controller. Well, let me unwrap this. Sorry, guys. 2000, the early 2000s have kicked in, and we have to unwrap the controller. I'm just going to do it fast, which brings me up to another topic, cords. Everyone says that it's not a long enough cord. I, I feel that it's a fine cord, and... Or a lot of people say that this cord is just... Okay, thanks for knocking my camera. Cord. But no, yeah. The cord is fine. I don't mind it. Because I play close to my TV, anyway. And let's just go through it. Okay, one missing shoulder button. But the thing is, since they're making a third-party one, if that third-party controller is good, then that... Nobody can ever say that. I mean, this feels super weird to claw grip on, I guess, because I'm not used to it. Because you're not really using the D-pad. But, I mean, I could get used to it. Because I'm already used to this. Like, I always put my hands like this. And just... They all have different feels. So it's sort of up to which one you like better. Because they're all going to have the same amount of buttons in the end. But I love the GameCube controller. Even though I've only had it for, like... Three months possibly because that's about the time that I've been getting into Super Smash Bros. Melee and all that stuff. It feels fine to do. It feels very good. I, I like this personally. But also with that, there's going to be a wireless one. So if that's good, then that eliminates people having to use the cord, but also that puts in frame, like, lag, or anything like that. You can't plug it in unless you have the Joy-Con um, charging grip, which costs you extra money, and you can plug this in with a regular USB-C to USB-A. So, I mean, really, you can eliminate mostly all the problems of wiring your controller so that it's perfect, like, with all these controllers. So, really, none of these are bad, unless, unless you're playing like this. If you're, if you're playing like this, guys, and you have more than one controller, and you're not playing with more than and more than the people that you have versus the amount of controllers you have, then please do something. Just please don't don't play like that. But yeah, those are the three controller main controller options that I think people will be using, considering that they're not like a Bluetooth connector for. Because they have a Bluetooth connector, you could connect, like, a PS4 controller, PS3 controller, Xbox, all that stuff. But, I mean, this is basically an Xbox controller. So, unless you like your sticks down here, like, okay, we're going to move this GameCube controller to the floor. Unless you like your sticks down here and you're, like, used to that, then I understand why you don't use that. But, yeah, honestly, I think I'm just going to stick with GameCube controller. But if the Power A one's good, the wired Power A... Or the wireless, because dude, the gold wireless one looks so cool. I, I might just have to get that anyways. But yeah, I'm pretty much going to stick with GameCube because... They're the best. I just love the feel of it. Like, these... I don't really have to explain it. You know what? I might just make a whole not another video just explaining why I love this GameCube controller. But it's just... The best controller, in my opinion. And that is me trying to fix the camera. <laughs> but yeah, guys, this is the end of the video, really. It doesn't matter what you use for Smash Ultimate. Besides, like I said, if you're using the one...
controller. But it's really going to be up to personal preference because you can wire your controllers, all of them, so that they have stuff. All of them have different things, different feels. you got to sort of play with them and see which one is the best. And this is an old GameCube controller, so that's why it's, like, dirty. Even though I try to clean it. But yeah, guys, that is the end of the video. If you did like it, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like the video, and of course, subscribe for more content, guys. Yeah, really, I'd suggest any of these controllers. And the third-party ones will probably be fairly good, too. But, I mean, really, it's just Power A and Hori. So, I mean, they're sort of technically licensed by, like, they're officially by Nintendo, but it's just a different brand making them that isn't Nintendo specifically. So, I mean, they're not even bad controllers. They're good controllers. It's just... You know what I mean, guys. It's just not exactly Nintendo's. So, I'm gonna say really all these controllers are acceptable. And just pick which one suits you the best. But yeah, guys, that'll be it for the video. And, of course, peace out, guys.